We're looking at the pelvis here. This is composed of four bones, which are the innominate bones, or the hip bones, the sacrum, which is a bunch of fused vertebrae, and then the little coccyx at the bottom of that. You can see there's a lot of muscles connecting into and up into the pelvis, and many nerves going through the sacrum of the hips as well. And we stimulate these nerves and massage them gently by doing small movements. Here we're seeing that we're going to look at a, a front and back movement. These are called anterior and posterior pelvic tilts based on the direction that the top of the pelvis is moving. So there we go, posterior, anterior, posterior, anterior. And we're stretching and massaging a lot of muscle. We're also building strength in these muscles. Drop one knee in and we drop one side of the pelvis so that we can get this nice lateral side to side movement. When we put the lateral and front and back movements together, we can create a circle. We can explore how well we can control that circle by keeping our spine tall, our shoulders relaxed. Again, we're sending a lot of information this way to the brain to say, we still need this area. So all these signals go up to the brain into the motor cortex area to say, we need to be able to control and move these in these directions and to build the range of motion. So let's take a look at it together one more time. Is that these are circles that we can create by keeping the upper spine still, the shoulders relaxed, dropping the knees or bending the knees a little bit, and creating this rotation around the sacrum in the hips. And we're good to go.